morning, everybody. Uh, it is December 1st. I'm having trouble holding the selfie stick straight. I'm exhausted today. I've been up since 5.30 to work. Uh, I just finished my first three-hour shift. I have another three-hour shift coming up later. And then some grading to do, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, and I have yet to even comb my hair. Uh, I did wash my face and brush my teeth though. I'm about to have some breakfast and dig into my advent calendar tea box that I got. Uh, so I figured why not give Vlogmas a try? I'm new to YouTube but I do enjoy everybody else's Vlogmas so we'll see. We'll give this a try. Uh, also, I need some more caffeine because one cup of coffee is not enough when you have chronic fatigue. I also have no makeup on, so you can very clearly see how tired I am. Anyway, let's open day one and see what I get. And uh, yeah, see you there. So how obvious is it that my table never actually looks like this. I am not that neat of a person. But I thought this was pretty. I got this brand new clay, inspired clay, but it's not glazed, teapot and set for my birthday from my mom. She found it at a th uh, thrift store and isn't it beautiful? It's got some koi on it koi on the top. Nice saying on the back. My degrees are all in Japanese related things. So whenever my family finds anything with Chinese or Japanese writing on it, they immediately think of me, which makes me happy, even if this is in Chinese and I don't speak Chinese. I studied it for a year, but I didn't retain much of it. I got this from my aunt, my great aunt, and we're going to give this a go. I'm curious. This is beautiful. Today is the first. Oh, it's a nice little um, thing to put the tea bag or strainer in. I'll have to get that sticker off the bottom later. Aw, yay! I don't know, do you put the box back in for an advent calendar or do you pull it out? I have no idea. We'll leave it in there for now. This is my favorite everyday tea. It's genmai tea, uh, brown rice and green tea. It has a really nutty flavor that, well, my family members all hate it, but I love it. I guess that's what matters. Let's steep it in my nice little pot. The thing about genmai tea, you don't want to use actual boiling water and you don't steep it for very long, only about 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds is up. Good use for that. Not quite steeped enough. I think I didn't put enough in there. <laughs> Maybe more like two cups. So let's add a little bit. The same. The genmai looks a little gross. 
kind of looks like brown maggots, not gonna lie. But it tastes really good. Let's try this again. I love the little boy on the top. He's so cute. Yeah, that's a better color. It's so cute. Still a little weak, but that's okay. Oh, no, it's not weak at all. It tastes perfect. But actually, I'm not going to drink out of these little tiny cups. They're so tiny. They're cute. They'd be great for entertaining. But I am going to drink out of my favorite teacup. This is a little teacup my little sister got for me with my initial on it, and I love it. And I use it all the time. So I'm going to fill this up. Was steeping it in this pot entirely necessary? No, actually, it's rather unnecessary, but it was cute and I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I'm gonna use it anyway. Breakfast is super basic. I'm really boring with breakfast. This is just some gluten-free oats with some applesauce that I made, blueberries, and oh, almond flour and a little bit of collagen powder because I never get enough protein. My doctor's always on me about that. So, and my green tea. And okay, does anybody remember when the dog was everywhere? I think this was like 2006, maybe. I love this thing. This is the only dog thing that I have that has survived from that time of my life, but love it, okay. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll come back to you probably this evening when I am knitting or something more interesting than grading papers. Trying to work and Velcro Kitty here is making me sleepy with all of his purrs. To work. Back to work. Can we do that? Some afternoon tea. Pumpkin spice. This was left over from a few years ago. Not my favorite, but it's pretty good actually. I mean, it's not my favorite because I have to add sweetener to it and I don't usually like adding sweetener. That's deep. I have these little sugar cubes. These came in a box from my great aunt, along with the tea. Don't usually drink sugar with my tea, but this one, it's pumpkin spice, but it, um, I don't know. I usually like cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg and all that and cloves, but this just really needs a little bit of sugar. So that's about a third of one of these. Lunch is beans and rice. Yum yum. I'll be back later. Oh, it's the end of the day. I am tired. Uh, you can only deal with so many English papers before you kind of just want to pull your hair out because students make the same whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm tired. 
uh, I still am a disaster today. I just didn't work from home, y'all. <laughs> work from home. So I finished with the kids, the younger kids' presents. Already everybody's getting mittens. Um, I haven't decided what to do for the older kids. I usually just give them money, which feels like a cop-out, but I know, well, two of them at least could really use it. One of them's got a really good job and better job than me, so uh, <laughs> I don't think he needs the 10 bucks he usually gets from his aunt. But um, anyway, the adults, at least those who drink, are getting cranberry infused vodka because I can't think of anything else to give them. Is that a bad reason? Not everybody is into hand knit, handmade stuff. The people who are have all gotten socks and scarves and some of them have gotten hats, some of them have gotten gloves. I'm a lot of ideas. So we're going with cranberry infused vodka because it's yummy and it's bright red. And yeah, so uh, it takes, well, at least the way I make it, takes about three weeks to infuse, um, which is probably excessive. A lot of the recipes online say like two to three days, but uh, and a lot of the recipes online also add like vanilla and orange and stuff into it and I don't. Um, I'm rambling. Cats. Um, anyway, I'm not actually going to see anybody for Christmas. Uh, at least not anybody who drinks. Um, so it doesn't matter that these will well, these will be done by Christmas. That's three weeks away. Anyway, I'm going to make some cranberry sauce because that's step one. And my kitchen is currently a disaster because I've been sick and busy this week, which is a combination for having a disaster of a kitchen, but my stove is clean. So we're going to be working on my stove. I have no idea how many of these I actually need. I bought a crap ton of vodka. I think I bought like a gallon of vodka. And four of these. We'll see how many the initial batch is. Mm, that's all that's gonna cook safely in that one. These are rinsed and filled, and now we just wait for them to burst. I need to get a spoon so I can kind of stir. I want to see the cranberries exploding though, that's the fun part. They're all such different shapes, and I love that they float. Like seriously, they floated about an inch when I put the water in. Also, cranberries have their own natural pectin in them, so they jelly up on their own. I'm sure there is an actual ratio of water. but I don't, didn't follow anything. Yeah, the ocean spray bag says one cup of water, one cup of sugar, that's a lot of sugar, and the three cups of cranberries, which this bag is 12 ounces. I'm gonna guess this bag is probably three cups because that would be silly for them to give you the ratio for not cooking the whole bag. This is more than a cup of water, but I'm gonna dump the water out anyway. Well, some of it. I 
I just used enough water so that none of the cranberries would be at the bottom. Since you can't actually cover the cranberries with water because like I said, they float. Look how bright red those are. They're a little bit more purple, not on camera. Oh, I heard one pop. bubble wrap that pops itself. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You can see some of the juices getting released in there. It's turning pink. Most of these most of these are popped, so I'm going to let this sit for a minute and finish popping and get the container ready. All right, this is my giant infusing things jar. It still smells vaguely of valerian root, but not too much. So I'm just taking a potato masher to the cranberries. They're a little waterier than I wanted. Next round I'll actually measure measure the water. I did strain a little bit of it, but I don't need to do this too much. I already <laughs> okay I don't need to do this but it's quite fun. <laughs> I was gonna do this on my stove and then I realized I was probably gonna burn myself. So we're doing it on my table. Hence my lunchtime tea still out. That's gotta smell 
great. This is not gonna work. Doing things in bulk is a little harder than doing things not in bulk. You're gonna burn yourself, Etsy. Since the age of five, when um, I probably critiqued my mother one too many times for incorrectly hanging baubles, and she just handed the box to me and said it was my job now. And I'll be honest, yeah. since then, it's always been colour coordinated, so she did a good job handing it up.
Good morning, it is December 2nd and it's freezing cold out today, but I wanted to spend a little bit of the morning by the water while I wake up. Hopefully the cold will help me wake up. It's also very bright because the sun is coming up right over the water there and it's very reflective. wind is absolutely going to be what sends me back inside. But otherwise it's going to be pretty this morning. And here's lunch. Same as yesterday, just some black beans, rice, we got some cheese under there. I'm gonna put some garlic and chili powder on it to give it a little bit of thing. So it is 1.23. I have I just finished my lunch and I wanna sit down and have some tea. So let's see what day two is. Um, day two, here. Day two is organic peppermint. Five minutes to brew. Who drinks peppermint with milk? Best enjoyed without milk. That uh, high bud. It's kind of a surprising warning. Hmm. Okay, peppermint tea it is. Let's sit down and Drink this and set up my pills.
I just finished putting the lacing through here and tying the beads on. I made this bag, gosh, before I moved to Alpina, so... Hmm, <laughs> 2019? Um, but I thought it would work good for packaging up a Christmas present, which is what's in there. I'm really excited to give that away. And now I'm going to eat my dinner and this is dinner. I'm being lazy. It's leftover rice and some kimchi. And then I think I'm going to put on my PJs and read a book until I fall asleep, which is not going to be that long because I am tired. Good morning. It is December 3rd. It's about what time? 10 o'clock almost. I've been up for about an hour. <clears throat> I'm feeling like garbage today, so probably not going to be vlogging much. I'm working on another cord for some Christmas bags, and then I see I really need to record my podcast today, but we'll see. I think today just needs to be a rest day so I can actually function at work this week. Time for day three. Elderflower and apple. This is apple hibiscus flavoring. That's meh. Uh, rose hip, licorice root, rose petals, vanilla, and elder elderflower. Five minutes. It is about three o'clock and I am sitting in bed with my laptop and two of my cats. One of them is being very vocal right now. I'm going to do some editing. I don't usually like to work in bed, but I'm going to make an exception for today and I'm going to enjoy my 
green tea. It's actually really good. It's sweeter than I expected. I think it's the vanilla and the licorice. It actually tastes like it has um, sweetener in it. But the back said it doesn't, so hopefully that is accurate. It's quite good though. Thanks for joining me for the first three days of Vlogmas. I hope it was entertaining, enjoyable, something to put on while you're crocheting, knitting, spinning, sewing, doing other crafty stuff, working up towards Christmas gifts. I will see you all later in my next entry. Bye!